All right, welcome back to the channel. So Errol Spence Jr. says, I am my own boss. I don't have any promoter or manager telling me what to do. And Terrence Crawford fans jump on it and accuse him of ducking Terrence Bud Crawford. Let's talk about that silliness in this video. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. Man, you can't make this stuff up. Errol Spence Jr. Wake up this morning, see a tweet from Errol Spence Jr., see you know videos being made, see comments and comment sections about, I told you, it's Errol Spence Jr. that's ducking Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's not the duck artist. It's Errol Spence Jr. If Errol Spence Jr. says there's no promoter in his way, let me not make fun of him too bad, but we'll get it back in a regular voice. Their logic is that if Errol Spence Jr. says he is the promoter and there's no or there is no promoter standing in his way or manager standing in his way, then why can't he make the Terrence Crawford fight? The burden of proof should be on on Errol Spence Jr. Bud Crawford's not ducking him. That's the logic. OK. <laughs> However, man, let's go over that silliness because what Errol Spence Jr. says that's not the reason why people are calling Terrence Crawford a duck artist, but let's go through the two things and, and bear with me while we talk about two things. One, is Errol Spence Jr. really ducking Terrence Crawford because he's his own, because he says that no promoter or no manager stays in his way, you know, will we'll keep him from doing what he wants to do? And uh, Bud Crawford, does, Terrence, does Errol Spence Jr. saying that in any way alleviate Terrence Crawford from the reputation of ducking that he's getting. And the answer to that is, man, heck he no. First and foremost, first and foremost, first and foremost, first and foremost. Errol Spence Jr. saying that he is his own manager, his own promoter. Uh, well, you know, that no promoter, no manager will stand in his way. He gets to make the fights that he wants to, to make, right? Um, That is 100% true. Absolutely true. He's with the PBC. Uh, he does not have a promoter. I think he's man down promotion, so that's his own promotion. He has a manager in Al Heyman. I think he might have an advisor in Al Heyman, but Al Heyman is not standing in his way in, of making fights because the manager works for him, right? That's the logic that he has, okay? Now, um, that is very true, and that is true of a lot of the fighters that are over there at, at, at PBC. The same thing goes for Keith Thurman. Same thing goes for Sean Porter. Same thing for Danny Garcia. Same thing for Deontay Wilder. Same thing for the lot of those guys. There's only there are some guys like Gervonta Davis that have a promoter in Floyd Mayweather Jr. But most of the big names over there at the PBC, as we all know, don't have promoters, and their manager slash advisor is Al Heyman. Um, and they have the autonomy to do what they want to do. Same thing that Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. was in the media saying the same thing about um, well, I guess it was about six months, and he was talking about uh the fact that he was going to move up to 135 pounds. Now he said this a long time before he called out Terrence Crawford and is, you know, is interesting because now, and I'll do a video about it a little later. He said that he's willing for 2 million to fight Devin Haney, but you know, this is just a normal thing. Okay. In the PBC where you don't have a guy like Bob Aram or a guy like um, Eddie Hearn, uh, you know, pretty much, telling you what fight card you have to fight on and when you have to fight and being responsible for all of that stuff. You know, so obviously that's not the case for, for Errol Spence. So is that anything new? No, that's nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new for people to hang their hats on and say, oh, look what he said that. Look what he said. You already knew that. We already knew Errol Spence Jr. was his own promoter. We already knew that he had flexibility. We already know that the guys from, from, uh, from PBC can fight on different networks if they want to. They're not tied down to na network deals. How does that alleviate Terrence Crawford from ducking allegations? How does that, I mean, how does not elite, how does it, how does it, how does it protect him against ducking allegations? It doesn't because the ducking allegations are coming from things that Terrence Crawford is saying, right? And Terrence Crawford is consistently turning down guys that went uh, down from the PBC. 
turned down and there was an article that came oh actually i responded to a tweet um it was pretty dope too because it was from damian lillard damian lillard of the portland trail trailblazers asked a question or made a statement you know i think the du ducking is you know ducking is overused ducking is just you know everybody's ducking everybody's saying everybody's ducking and that's true I do believe that the catch-all phrase ducking is used far too often. You could look at it in different ways. Terrence Crawford has, what type of duck has Terrence Crawford um, shown, right? What kind of duck has he participated in? Well, there's different ways that you can duck people. You can say in the, in the um, case of Ray Robinson, to, um, uh, Terrence Crawford, would just refuse to respond to him and just belittle him and say that he's not on his level. Oh, what a joke, right? So that's just not responding to him, belittling him, you know, just acting like you're on something, some different level where a guy doesn't deserve the fight. Even though upon real close examination or not even that close of an examination, you'll find that Terrence Crawford is perfectly fine with fighting Egas Kalvinakis and Egas, but Egas Kalvinakis got a draw against Ray Robinson. So, what would be the problem with finding Ray Robinson if you can fight Egas Kalvinakis, right? Because Terrence Crawford never defended Egas uh, Kalvinakis by saying that, oh, I'm just fighting him because he's my mandatory. No, he said, oh, I'm, I'm fighting him because he's a skilled fighter and because he's undefeated and nobody else beat him. So that's why he deserves the fight. Yeah, if nobody else beat him, but there was another guy that drew with him. They're obviously the same skilled fighter, so why wouldn't you fight him? So anyway, he just, er, Terrence Crawford chose uh, method number one to duck to, to duck um uh Ray Robinson or refuse Ray Robinson. Maybe that's a better better way. Maybe sometimes when people are saying you're not ducking, you're just turning the fights down time after time. So that's one way in which in which Terrence Crawford uh ducked. And and Ray Robinson is with I'm sure has the ability to make that fight. Keith Thurman in the same situation as Errol Spence Jr., right? He says he's his own promoter. He has the, he has the same situ promotional situation. He has the same managerial situation. He has the same network situation as Errol Spence Jr. does. But what did Terrence Crawford do? Terrence Crawford says, oh, you asked $10 million. You asked for $10 million. You must not be, you must not be serious about the fight. So you just dismissed him. Dismissed him, didn't, didn't engage in additional uh, negotiations, none of that. You just dismissed him, right? So now we're on refusing, dismissing. Now, what other kind of words can we use in place of duck, right? Is there any other method in which uh, Terrence Crawford of, or Terrence Crawford and top rank avoided a fight? Lowballing. That's right, lowballing. Making an offer like... $1.5 million for Kell Brook. We'll see if that turns out where the fight doesn't get made. But let's just assume that the $1.5 million that he offered for Kell Brook, Kell Brook says, no, man, I made $1.5 million in my last fight, which was on pay-per-view in the UK against a guy that nobody ever heard of. Why would I fight you for $1.5 million, right? Eddie Hearn is saying that he offered him $1.5 million. That money is too low. So why would you offer it? Is that a duck? Right. He didn't straight out avoid him. He didn't like ignore him. Right. And act like he didn't exist, like maybe a, a Ugas or a Ray Robinson. Right. He didn't just flat out refuse him off some corny uh, excuse. Right. Like um, like um, uh, Keith Thurman. Right. Where the guy, oh, you're offering too much money with never getting into negotiation. He didn't. Um, but what he did was he just lowballed him. One point five million lowball. So you're going to make you an offer that you can't accept, right? Isn't that another way to duck? See, people think that there's like, like people can be real slick and find multiple ways for fights not to take place. Either you were just asking for if somebody really wants you to fight them. And it's obviously that they have obvious that they have the resume, obvious that they have, um, you know, the reputation to suit, uh, to deserve the fight like a Danny Garcia. Well, then you lowball him and say, oh, he's not a champion. He's asking for too much money. He priced himself out, right? That one, those type of ducks. So as far as it relates to Errol Spence Jr. saying, you know, I'm, a, I'm the man, I'm, you know, nobody is going to stand in the way of the fights that I want to make, not a promoter at least, and not a manager at least. Now, maybe the networks will, right? <laughs> maybe a network will that 
um, won't, might want, not want to pay the money for a fight, right? But can't make him do anything, can't prevent him from going to fight on another network. However, man, that does not absolve Terrence Crawford from all the ducking he's done with everybody whose name is not Errol Spence Jr. At this point in time, we can accept as a fact that Terrence Crawford, well, I guess we can, wants to fight with Errol Spence Jr. At least that's what he's saying. Um, but it's clear with a lot of the other guys in 147, he's not. So please don't try to hang on your hat on some old argument that we went through months ago, okay? Errol Smith Jr. has been saying that that's his financial situation, that is, that that is his promotional and managerial situation. Been saying it. Ain't nothing changed between uh, 2018 and 2020, except for the ability for Bud fans to claim that it's Terrence Crawford is the one that's ducking, and I mean, is the one that is being ducked and is the boogeyman. Because I don't think you can find anybody else in the welterweight division that has turned down as many people for fights as Terrence Crawford has. Keith Thurman hasn't turned down that many people. You know what I mean? Danny Garcia hasn't turned down that many people. Errol Spence isn't turning down that many people. It's it's Errol, it's it's Terrence Crawford that is that's working on double digit denials, refusals, and low balls, all which constitute ducking. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. With that, I'm out. Peace.